Hello birds, I wanted to share my first crack at the Proto Centurion. This build has not been tested, but it's in line with uh, what we know about the SSRB target and uh, the top specials and weapons for the ballistic hulls uh, we've seen recently, such as the Buccaneer. So I'm going to start with the weapon. The cannon that came with it is the Particle Accelerator Cannon 2. If you don't have it, you can use the phase attack cannons, the closest you see in terms of damage. The main difference is it, the, the new cannon does a little bit more damage and also does sub, a little bit of submerged damage, enough to kill those underwater mines in the SSRB. If you use the phase attack cannon, then you're going to need to use at least one weapon that hits underwater, such as a depth charge. I'm going to start with the new cannon on all slots. It's super heavy. And you see um, this ship has a minus 20% weapon weight, so heavy weapons here become not so heavy all of a sudden. The, good, the other good thing about the Proto Centurion is even if you only build one, you look at the special abilities down here and all these extra bonuses, ballistic defense, radioactive defense, which are better than Buccaneer, uh, combat speed, splash damage, it all applies to Hydras, uh, Blood Hydras, Buccaneers, Booms, and, every, and, and two other Proto Centurions. So this is really great. It also has a hostile aura that affects buildings, turrets, and walls, making them a little bit weaker to ballistic and radioactive damage. And this aura, both of them, the friendly and the hostile, you can have up to five. Remember the Proto Centurion will not have a flagship, so you can actually build five of these in a fleet, and they are nearly indestructible. So moving on, uh, my next choice, in terms of specials now is speed system 6 the other obvious choice is siege battery 4 and the other one is CL3 for resistances so these three no-brainers uh, you see I'm not planning on having any countermeasures here because as I said the ship is nearly indestructible when you have a fleet of four or five alone it actually takes damage and the SSRB doesn't have anything to be countermeasured. If you're planning on taking on map targets for base parts and they're based on the last raid cycle, then you might want to have on just one ship, one sprint and one phalanx 4. Uh, so moving on in terms of specials, the other special that came out is the Canon System 5 right here. This one is a lot lighter than the nuclear accelerator. It gives you the range, it gives splash and damage. I'm not too concerned about reload because this weapon already reloads every three seconds. The ship has a 75% bonus and then we're gonna get the ranking bonus. So it will be firing pretty much non-stop already. But if you want, you can look at nuclear, sorry, autoloader one, for instance, two will be too heavy. The ice fields and the radioactive uh, fields that are left in the water on those targets, if you want to counter them, a wise choice would be to use the tactical insulator. I'm not much concerned about the evade bonus because pretty much everything in there is splash based. So these are the five specials I'm very confident about. The last one, now we have a few choices. So choice number one, you could come in here and pick the man, the mass augmentation nexus. This one will give you 10% chance of a critical hit that doubles the hit of the weapons, uh, the damage of the weapons, and add splash. Right. So the other option that I actually I prefer is siege targeting four. And I'll tell you why I prefer this one. I rather constantly have 165 extra building damage. As you see here, it goes to plus 1,303%. I rather have that all the time than a 10% chance at double damage, right? This overtime should work a lot better. The only thing you're not getting here is the extra splash, uh, but the splash is already at plus 195%. So I'm not too worried about that either. 
another option for the last slot so if you're you can do the man as i said you can do siege reloader 2 this one gives you a bit more reload and 93 percent building damage so it's also a very good choice so let's look at the armor the final aspect um once you have a fleet of four or five of these ships your resistances that here are at 73 percent right now because of the 40 percent bonus per ship they will be a lot higher so if you add the armor here in the end and i'm gonna prefer the, the c1 cr which you can find in the fm and it's not limited so you put all five of those and it's gonna go a little bit overweight but we'll address that in a second you get to 90 percent plus all the auras you're actually going to be at 99.2 99.3 percent resistances and that's why i said at the beginning once you have a full fleet it's pretty much indestructible the way i found to address the weight concern is to remove one of the particle accelerator two cannons and scale down to the phased attack cannon this is the closest to the maximum weight i was able to get this is a 15 day build if you have officer and R&D bonuses. And if you got the tokens from Raid, I believe you can get this one pretty much instantly done. Um, I hope that was helpful. Uh, leave your comments if you have any questions or suggestions about other buildings and see you next time.